2005. And down here at Metro John. And uh, this is the main signboard when you're coming from Bow for Centennial Secondary School. And down here in commemoration of the 50th anniversary of Centennial Secondary School. If you can recall, this is the last signboard you made before you enter the campus. And there's a road, that road going right down there takes you to the Sene Hunjati, which leads you to Sura Rutai. And this is the point where I'm standing right now. Today is Thursday, January 6th, and I'm here to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of Centennial Secondary School. Head of Centennial, the Greater Love Chapel. This is where we come for Sunday service, General Assembly. I'm sure these guys are part of the boarding home students. We used to do it as they are doing now, walk around in the evening. Greater Lord Chapel, General Assembly, Church Services, used to be held here, and I'm, I think they still do. And, uh, we are told that this chapel is right in the middle of the campus. Greater Love Chapel. This is room one. There's room one right there. And that is room two. Right there. You know, glass on the door. It's room one and room two. And as we move further down, because those of you that went to Centennial should remember that room one, room two, and room three, and biology lab. This is biology lab. Right there. And this is where JSS, is the junior secondary school students, now meet. So this is room one. You are seeing the decks and the benches in room one. And if I can take you up, you can see the door. The ceiling is giving way gradually. I mean, room one, Centennial at 50. That was cool, light and rain. This is room one. Room two. This is room two. When I was here, this used to be biology lab, and what you're seeing used to be our lab benches. Came here several times, from from three right down to from five for biology. In fact, I took biology practicals O level in this building. And this is what is left of biology lab. Look at the ceiling. Centennial at 50, light in rains. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to do something. We need to work hard. Centennial, light in rains. This is biology lab. This is biology lab. No equipment, nothing else. You can see the ceiling. Biology lab. The ceiling of biology lab. This used to be covered. Remember? Centennial at 50. This is what we have of the biology lab. That one used to house a lot of uh, specimens for the biology students. I cannot see anything in there anymore. This is the door to the biology lab. 
right there. All the glass broken. That's used to be the main switch. It's no more. Centennial lies in rains, ladies and gentlemen. And this is Centennial at 50 years old. This is total thing. This coal at 50 does not befit the status of Centennial. We have to come together to do something for this coal. This is room 3. This is room 4. The glass to the door is gone. I see the frame. Room four. The ceiling, as with all other classrooms, are gone, given way. It used to be, I think a notice board or the back there. It's no more. Look at the chairs and the texts. This is not the centennial we used to know. We have to work hard to bring it back. And room five. The story continues. The glass to the door is gone. The black box still exists. These are the chairs and the benches. There used to be a notice board at the back there. It's no more. Another one there, no more. Those are the ceilings of room 5. Room 5. Chapel, if it says Greater Love Chapel, erected in memory of those who have forgave or lost their lives in the lunch accident following the Metro UPC Primary School picnic. December 1st, 1995. Solomon E. George was a teacher. John Williams was a student. Another Johnny Williams was a student. James Sano was a student. Norman Baker, son of the founder and first principal of the school were those who loved who lost their lives. And he says, Greater love had no man than this. Then a man laid on his life for his friend. As it is, the chapel looked great. It was renovated by the bow seals. So I'm writing Greater Love Chapel. The benches are still there. The blue color is still there. The national flag is there. The only thing that is missing is the school flag. And Miss Hoffman used to have an organ. It's no more, but this is a good job by the Bow Branch. Greater Love Chapel, renovated by Bow Seussa. The job well done. This is from six. Room 6, after the chapel. The notice board at the back is gone. This is room 6. Room 6. The 
silly. Yeah, this is the notice board between room 6 and room 7. And this is where we used to get information about uh, geography field trip and uh, other relevant information. The glass is no more. Room 7. This is room 7. in room 7 this is this is from 8 All the ceilings in this school have the same story. Those notice boards are giving way. Room 6. This used to be the home economics lab and I guess it is still the home economics lab. This is the home economics lab. This is where we used to have uh, our cultural practicals. And uh, there's a long tennis right there. It's being fenced. That is where the reunion is going to take place tonight. This used to be the auditorium, and it is still the auditorium. The stage used to be made of board, now it's being turned into concrete. That's a big development. And uh, there's some cultural pictures at the back of the stage, which is very good. And uh, we used to refer to this as room 11 and 12. This is the auditorium. This is where we used to have a school plays. And even the graduation banquet used to be held in this hall. I remember we used to have, we had our own banquet in this hall, the auditorium. This is the ceiling of the auditorium. This is the boys' toilet. During our days here, this is where we do our laundry and this is where we, we do our ironing. Nobody was allowed to do ironing in the dormitories. This used to be very clean in fact. We used to be American dormitory. Continue way then to Kailundu. This used to be Banta dormitory and the one down there is John Dometri. He used to be a student in this Banta Dometri. When I was in Form 1, I was in John Dometri, way down there. 
That building there with no roof, that is where the Metron used to live. This is one of the staff quarters. As you can see, the roof of the staff quarter is no more. In fact, when I was a member of the Christian Endeavor and Scripture Union, we used to come here because one of the missionaries who taught me chemistry and English, Miss Jill Van Dusen, used to live in this quarter. And uh, this is where Mr. Williams now lives, and that's Mr. Williams right there. He taught me biology in front three. But this is where he lives. And the roof is giving way. This is suicide. We cannot sit by and allow these structures to collapse. Something has to be done. This is one of the staff quarters. The missionaries used to live in these quarters. And I personally came here on Sunday evenings for Christian and devil gatherings. We will serve orange juice, giving cookies when I was in the boarding home. Centennial lies in rains after 50 years. I used to be a student in this school and uh, your father, Mr. Williams, taught me in biology from from three right down to from five. And you guys live in this boys quarter now because the main building is virtually not a building anymore as you can see in the tape and this is Centennial at 50 years so um, we need to do something to bring back these structures today is Thursday January 6th I'm here for the Golden Jubilee and uh, that's Mr. Williams right there he probably want to say one or two things this tape is going to be shown during our CEO's and North American branch convention in August and Mr. Williams is one of the teachers in this school he taught me biology right then from, from 3 to from 5 he prepared us for the O levels and that's him right there with his son and daughter yes Mr. Williams yeah I would like to appreciate this very much thank you very much because of your concern I know whatever happens in this world when people are bred from a place as they grow up they want to remember where they have come up from and they would like to contribute to the development call. Thank you. And I want to appreciate that. And I hope that you continue so that we'll be well in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Moses. Moses, come and talk. Jane, you want to say something? Moses. Says, say something. Okay, <laughs> Marie, say something. Now Linda I've been okay here. Timala <laughs> America. Yepe. She is in form two. She is in two, right? Yeah. Okay. Yepe. She is in two. No more ceiling. The windows are gone. The wardrobe. The bedroom. Hmm. That is study also. It's not yeah. study. Yes. You should get it back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and talk about the time. I call the study. I have to tell you. It used to be the study room. Mm -hmm. And all these used, used to have wire mesh, mesh right round. Mm -hmm. Used to be wire mesh. Yeah. All yeah. over. Everything. Place. Yes, 
the wardrobe. Yeah. We're not going to be alone. Yeah. No, no, we're not. Yeah. 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 This is another stock quarter. Mr. Mustafa JC used to live here. And now Mr. Feka lives here with his family. This structure will give way in less than two years if nothing is done. Beautiful stock quarters all giving way. This is what we have at Centennial after 50 years. After 50 years, you know, these are some things. Centennial at 50 now lie in rains. Ladies and gentlemen of Siosa, not American branch. It's Thursday, today, January 6th. Celebration started yesterday. We need to do something. Otherwise, at 75, we'll start saying there was a centennial, and nobody wants to say that. This is what is left of these quarters. Beautiful staff quarters. The missionaries used to live in these places. This is what we have today. At 50 years. And now in inside the stuff what is in this is what is left of the ceiling. This used to be the living room. I remember it vividly. No more ceiling. All is gone. You can't take, 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 take. This is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. J.C. Mustafa too used to live here. This is what is left of these quarters today. Centennial at 50. This is a toilet. This is the ceiling. Female restroom that is supposed to be used when there is no running water. The doors are gone. So, how much privacy is here? None. Even the restroom has broken doors. As in the days of Nehemiah, Centennial needs to be rebuilt. Housing the female students, Nyagua Ahutagua. There used to be a hut here. You can see the pillars where the wood for the kitchen used to be stored. That is no more. And that is the kitchen right there. I used to come here when I'm punished to pound cassava leaf. <laughs> I 
I used to bring 15 buckets of water here when I'm punished. Centennial Kitchen. Yinya, I understand, passed away a couple of days ago. But our pots used to be here. As you can see, this used to be our kitchen. And this is broken even. Yes, there used to be a running water in this place. This is part of the kitchen. It's the part of the kitchen. This is the main door leading to the kitchen. I've done a marvelous job. I've renovated the dining room. It's looking great. You have Decent dining tables and chairs. This is the work of the Bow Branch. Remember, they did a chapel. They have done the dining hall. This is great. Standing in the dining hall of Saint Jean. This is our dining hall. This is where we used to receive our meals during the two o'clock meal. We used to have Saturday entertainments in here. Another pride of the school. But for the Bow Branch, this was not going to look good. The Bow Branch have done a marvelous job and they deserve our commendation. Thank you, Bow Branch, for a job well done. Boarding home students. The space between the dining room and the chapel. This is where we used to have our prize given. And the structure right down there is supposed to be the female toilet that we have in the dining room, which has been renovated by the Bow's use of branch. Thank you, Bow Branch, for a job well done. You can still remember the name. Yes. <laughs> American dormitory facing the dining room. And Kailundo. I guess it's not a classroom, even during my days. In the walkway leading to Jung Dormitory and Bante Dormitory. Some of the boarding home students standing right there. That door used to close. It cannot anymore. It's broken. In home. And it used to be the quarters for the matron. As you can see, no roof, no windows. This is what we have of Centennia after 50 years. After 50 years, this is what we have of Centennia. If you can look through the window, you can even see an old refrigerator there that tells you that that is where some of the materials used to be stored for the body home. Centennial at 50. This is what we have. Yes. The quarter for the matron. It's all done. to be a very nice kitchen here. It's all gone. And this is the remains of Shabro Dometry. Yes. 
Shabra Dometry. No roof at all is left of Shabra Dometry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sabro Dometry. I'm standing right in there now. There's no roof. Sabro Dometry. This is what is left of Centennial after 50 years. No roofs anymore. And we cannot sit by to see these strong structures collapse as a result of no roof. I hope after today, when we look at this tape, something good we come out of it. But something has to be done for Centennial to regain her past glories, remains of the matron's quarters, and part of the boarding home store. Kyle dormitory being converted into a classroom. Look at the ceiling. All given way. This is what is left of Centini after 50 years. This used to be a junk dormitory. And it's now a classroom. John Dometry has been converted into a classroom. No lawn more. So this is what we have. It's all bushy. Compound underneath that used to look very good because of the lawn mowers. It's all bushy. This is between Chong and Kylo the dormitories, which have been converted into a classroom.